Hi there. I hope you're having a lovely evening so far. Um, so I wanted to hop on and show you guys um, some video footage of my new EQ deck, which is now available. And I'm going to have some more details um, coming up tomorrow that I'll be sharing here on my page. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a visual picture. So it comes in this really cool customized tin. And um, the cards are, um, there's three different categories here. So we have um, high vibration emotions. See if I can get it so you guys can actually see that. High vibration emotions would be what you might think of as uh, more positive emotions. Um, for example, hopeful is an example. Um, another example here is content. And you can see that each card has just gorgeous images. So I hunted for months to find just the perfect images because I'm a very visual person and I love beautiful imagery. Um, so we have the high vibration emotion cards. And then we also have um, low vibration emotion cards. And um, those are some of the emotions that you might think of as more negative, like embarrassed, is one. Um, here's another one, lonely. So you would separate the decks into these two piles for high vibration and low vibration. And um, those terms were very intentionally chosen because um, I don't want to give the impression that any emotion is bad or wrong because we all feel um, the full spectrum at different times. Sometimes we feel angry or frustrated or lonely and, and that's all fine. Um, the goal here is to increase emotional intelligence in terms of being able to identify these emotions and recognize them and also be able to articulate them effectively. So being able to talk about them in a constructive way. Okay, so we have those two categories and then we have um, the activity cards. And those cards lead you through a series of activities to help you with the emotion cards in terms of what I just described, identifying emotions, describing emotions, being able to recognize them in others, and learning how you experience them in your body. Um, if you're working with children, because this deck was designed to be able to be used like in a family setting as a game, um, being able to help them learn how to articulate those feelings as well. So the activity cards um, lead you through a series of different activities and it'll give you instructions on the card like choose a high vibration card or choose a low vibration card and then it will give you instructions on what to do in order to help you to enhance your emotional intelligence. So it's it's a lot of fun. Um, I've been playing it. I'm going to have my family play it. Um, it's something that you can do by yourself if you would like as just a development activity. You can do it kind of as a meditation or a journaling exercise. Um, you can also do it in a family setting. So if you'd like to do it with your kids or with your partner, it's a fantastic way to get comfortable talking about different feelings and how to articulate those. Hi, Courtney. Um, thanks for joining us. And um, so it really helps you to develop that skill set of having a higher EQ or emotional intelligence. Plus, it's fun. You know, I designed it specifically to be like a game um, that leads you through these different activities. And um, as I was saying, you can do it individually on your own as well. Um, also, if you're a practitioner, um, as I am, if you're a coach or a counselor or a therapist and you work with clients, this is a fantastic tool to have. And I'll tell you that um, where I got the original idea for doing this is because several months ago, I created a deck just for myself to use with my clients because a lot of times I was finding um, in my coaching sessions that people were having a hard time um, talking about what they were experiencing and they, they couldn't find the right words for it. And so I actually created um, an emotions deck that had just the emotion cards to use with my clients. And then with this deck, 
I've taken it a step further. So we have a spectrum of emotions. There are 11 um, high vibration emotions and 11 low vibration emotions. So 22 emotions in all. And of course, there are many, many more that aren't captured here. But I figured 22 is probably a good enough starting point for us. And then there are 12 activity cards. So if you think about that, there's a lot of different combinations possible. You could play this multiple times um, going through those 12 activities. And I recommend that each player goes through all 12 activities as time permits, um, because you're going to get different pairings of the cards. So you might draw an activity card that's encouraging you to talk about where you experience the emotion in your body. And one time you might pull lonely, and another time you might pull joyful. Um, so as many times as you play it, you're going to have the opportunity to get all of these different experiences each time. So I hope you found it helpful. I wanted to give you some visuals to actually see these cards. Um, I'll be continuing to share information about them over the next few days. So tomorrow um, I'll probably have another very short video with information on ordering the cards if you're interested. Um, and I will tell you that I'm really excited about how accessible I was able to get these. So they ship anywhere in the world um, and shipping included $39. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, and I was really excited to be able to offer that to people because I do have a lot of international clients that are outside the US and it's the same for everybody, the same cost. Um, so it's very exciting. And of course, you know, as always, feel free to get in touch with me if you have questions or anything like that. And oh, hi, Allison. It's good to see you. My gosh, I haven't seen you so long. Um, so I wanted to just kind of put that out there and oh, here, I've got some questions to answer. Um, Courtney is asking, did you show them already? Courtney, I did. I'm going to go ahead and hold them up again because we did have a couple people just join. So um, the cards come in this customized tin. And I do want to share that I just learned today that um, my producer of this deck um, is a little bit short on the tins, but there are other options. So um, they come in a cool package. How about if I just say it that way? There's a customized package and um, the deck comes inside that. So you have like a nice little box to keep everything in. And then um, the deck itself is divided into high vibration emotion cards. So this is the back side of one of the high vibration emotion cards. And then on the front side, if you can see, there's an image and then an emotion. So the high vibration emotions are those that we tend to think of as being um, more positive feelings, like joyful, excited, creative. And then I have um, the low vibration emotion cards. And those are emotions um, like lonely, embarrassed, frustrated. And I mentioned this earlier, I intentionally labeled them high vibration and low vibration rather than something like positive and negative because I don't want to create a connotation around having the low vibration emotions. It's okay to feel frustrated. It's okay to feel angry. There's nothing bad or wrong about those feelings. Our goal here is to be able to identify our feelings more effectively. And thank you so much, Courtney. Um, I'm really excited about them as well. I put a lot of work into designing these, and um, I'm, I'm really, really eager to see how you know, people like them. And then the last section um, are the activity cards. And there are 12 different activity cards that lead you through a series of exercises. They are NLP-based. Um, for anybody who doesn't know this, I'm an NLP coach. It's Neuro Linguistic Programming. Hi, Malik. It's so good to see you. Um, and the NLP techniques are designed to help you to enhance your emotional intelligence, or EQ. Um, so for example, um, one technique that we might use to talk about an emotion is discussing it in a physical way. Um, so we might describe it as having a texture, a sound, an image. This is fantastic for children. Um, in particular, I, I had families in mind when I created this deck um, because um, I have a stepdaughter who's 12, and I know that um, kids sometimes have a hard time articulating their feelings, and adults do as well. <laughs> Absolutely, adults do too. And so I was also thinking, you know, partners, relationships, 
um, really this deck is good for anybody because you can also use it on your own and do it as like a journaling exercise or meditation exercise. It's just wonderful for helping you to verbalize and talk about feelings in a new way. And I created it to be like a game so that it would be fun and it would be something that people could kind of do together. I know the holidays are coming up and, you know, lots of us have kids off from school and we're, you know, wondering what we're going to be doing over that break. Um, this is a nice alternative for, you know, a monopoly or something. I mean, those things are fun too, but this is actually kind of a developmental, it's definitely an emotional developmental um, exercise. So I just wanted to hop on tonight and share this with you visually. And like I said, I'll continue to have more info um, coming out about this. I'll probably be posting something early tomorrow morning, um, sharing some more details and probably into next week as well. So feel free to get in touch if you've got questions. It was so lovely to see a few of you join us here on live tonight. I do a lot of these live streams and you know, most of the time um, I'm just trying to get information out, but I love it when people do watch Watch, and it's very exciting for me. So I appreciate that quite a bit. And um, it was lovely to see you. And I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful evening. And if I don't get to connect with you personally, I hope you have a beautiful holiday season. And always feel free to reach out to me. I know the holidays are a tough time for many of us. Um, if you know anyone who's struggling, don't hesitate to connect them with me. Um, I will be working pretty much the whole way through all of the holidays um, just because it is such a tough time for so many people. And I do believe that it's important to provide support, you know, during this time of the year. So have a lovely evening and I look forward to connecting with you soon.